we've got now 2,640 food, and it looks like there's 2,000 fish being stored in the trading post, uh, which is a good thing. We probably need to think about getting even more food. I mean, some livestock would be fucking great at this point, actually. But also those walnut seeds would have been good too. And fucking look at the foresters and stuff. They're doing such a good job. How are we doing here? We still we still collecting stuff. The hunting cabin is still collecting lots of stuff. How is how's the herbalist doing? They're not making lots of herbs. I think somebody was saying that this herbalist needs to be placed somewhere else where there's no uh, tree cutters and stuff because apparently all the good trees are being cut down and they're not able to make like herbs with them. We might have to relocate the herbalist uh, somewhere else, maybe closer to, say, um, here. What's here? The gatherer's hut. What are these guys doing? Oh yeah, they're gathering roots and berries and all sorts of fucking garbage. Okay, we may need to move the herbalist over there. Let's do that. Let us move this herbalist over uh, to here, next to this gatherer's hut, and then all of these people can do something similar, like uh, gathering berries and twigs and, I don't know, like scraping sap off of trees and getting it s stuck on their mouth and everything, and then they can't open their mouths anymore because they're just sapped close. That's kind of disgusting, actually, and, that, and actually that would be pretty terrible if that happened to you in real life. I hope it never does. Uh, anything to do here? No. General health of Sipsburg uh, seems to be failing somewhat. Um, we have a laborer. We have two builders. Once those builders have upgraded this house uh, into, a, into a stone house, you fucking... What are they doing? Uh, what's, what is the slowdown here? I mean, where are they even? I bet you they're out building the herbalist straight away. That's fine. Uh, once they've done that, we can get them back here and we can get them to start clearing out some of this stone. We can probably start chopping down some of these trees too because we're going to start making a bunch of stuff over here. Look, let's start gathering up all of this loose stone. It doesn't need to be here. Uh, and then we can come in and clear cut all the trees too so that we can make some more houses and stuff down there. Expand Sipsburg. It's going to be great. Everybody is ready for a... Oh my god. Willip, the vendor, has died. Um, the heir to the Ramonte Beal uh, vendor fish and chip empire, also the fruit and veg empire as well, uh, has been taken over by Ernie. Ernie seems to be the sort of stand-in person to take over when somebody dies um, whilst doing a job that they've done for so many tender years. It's pretty amazing stuff actually when you think about it. Um, Ernie is just this jack of all trades but master of none. Uh, he doesn't fully replace the uh, the person that he does replace because he doesn't or she doesn't have the skills to pay the bills, unfortunately. Oh no, fucking Jamalia has died of old age? Wasn't Jamalia just born like two minutes ago? There's no shit. Holy fuck. Did... What, what happened to... Okay, we have no... I see what's happened now. Look, all of... <laughs> That is fucking crazy! Look at how many laborers we've just gained from the t from the schoolhouse closing down. <laughs> we just that's fucking crazy. All right, well, we actually need a teacher quite badly uh, so that school can resume. These people were in mid studies. <laughs> they were in mid studies, and because the teacher died and there was no one to replace the teacher, they just became adults straight away, which is nuts. Fucking everybody is dying. Look at this. I can't believe it. There's a lot of people in the labor pool now to replace the people that are dying though, which is a nice thing, I guess. Uh, let's fill some of these jobs. Look, fucking gatherers and stuff. Two laborers in the pool is fine for now. And all the other jobs are fully stocked, uh, which is good. Holy shit. Okay, we now have 51 adults. Uh, a big jump of about 10 people because of that fiasco with the teacher and the school. Uh, and there's still 16 babies. 16 babies in this town. It's nuts. Uh, it looks like they finally started upgrading this stone house. It's only taken about three years for them to get started on it. All the bureaucracy and the red tape in Sipsburg has prevented them thus far from completing any work on it. But it looks like finally Hilber, or whoever is now the mayor, uh, has decided to pass it through and get it done. They want to get the job done at long last, and that's a good thing. I think that that's a very good thing. Look, we're going to make some more roads here. Look, it's... Oh, this is great. I fucking love all this. Look, I love making roads. Look, that looks so nice, doesn't it? Look, there's a just completely surrounded farm fields and stuff. Uh, 
Bard? <laughs> no Holds Bard has become a student. Charon has become a student. And a child named Leyland was born. That is fantastic news. There's still a lot of stone to be collected here. And it looks like there's a whole bunch of deer out here that could be um, quite easily killed, actually. Oh, look at that road placement. I don't know about you, but I think that that's perfect. Look, it leads right into the front door of the uh, of the town hall. That's fucking perfect. Holy shit. We can get, like, a church here as well as... What other services are there, even? We get a chapel. Uh, we could have another cemetery over here if we want. A hospital? Holy shit, we could actually have a hospital? Can you believe that? Used to heal diseases. So far, so good. We haven't had anyone actually die of a disease. Oh! And here we go, just in time. We've had a merchant arrive at the trading post. Who could it be? Uh, it is... Uh, Millionette. Oh, the livestock merchant. This is what we need. This is what we need. Uh, she does not want fish, unfortunately, though. Uh, which fucking sucks balls, actually. What the hell, Millionette? You don't want any fish? Why not? This is prime fish. It hasn't spoiled. It's on ice. It's on ice at the trading post. Okay, fine. Let's have one. We want one cattle. How many uh, tools do we need to trade? We need many more tools. I don't think she's going to stick around for very long. Come on. Oh, that is so brutal. We could, we finally could have had a cattle farm. Uh, but there's not enough stuff here to trade, unfortunately. What other kind of stuff would she like, do you think? Does it actually say? No, it doesn't. Okay, so all of this fish here might be a bit useless, actually. Uh, and maybe we can uh, just send it back to the storage barn so that people can eat it. Fucking fish. God damn it. <laughs> God damn, what a... What a fiasco with the fish. I can't believe it. Uh, more iron tools. What about hide coats? Let's get some hide coats in here. Let's get 20 hide coats in here. Iron, maybe not so much. Although, uh, if we get a mine set up, we can maybe have a bit of iron. That might be worth something. I don't think we're going to make it, though, with the old um, cattle. I think she's going to leave. She's going to leave before it happens. Do we want to get some firewood here? We've got a lot of logs. Let's get 200 firewood stockpiled here, just just in case. Just as I think everybody will buy firewood, uh, and then we can continue making more as well. All right, fine. We'll know for next time. Uh, with the oh look, she will buy all of this stuff as long as it turns up. I wonder if she'll stick around. Come on, millionette. You don't have anywhere to go. There's nobody waiting for you. It's just you alone on the raging river on your little trade boat filled with cows. While these deers just make this crossing uh, with relative ease, they don't need a bridge or anything. They're, like, totally uh, up for just crossing the river. All right, it's going to take forever with uh, one trader uh, working at the post right now, actually having to get all of this stuff, uh, which is kind of annoying. Maybe we can actually... Um, there we go. Look, we'll have two traders. See if some stuff can come in, but it's, it's not likely. I think we missed the boat on this cattle... Yeah, the fish fiasco. What a goddamn fiasco that was. All that fish stockpiled there for nothing. Send it back to the storage barns. So people can just eat it and we'll trade stuff that's actually worth something and not these stupid ass fish. God damn it. All right, we've got this now. We've got this herbalist set up, which means that we can get rid of this one. Let's do it. We're going to get rid of this uh, building here. We're going to remove this herbalist. It's scheduled for demolition. The new one is built. Uh, there should be nobody working here now. Uh, okay, great. Uh, which means that this one should... Yes! Okay, perfect. That's quite a good area, actually, and hopefully there's going to be lots of herbs to be had. General health is declining in Sipsburg because everybody is um, ODing on herbs, uh, and they need more. We need, to, we need to make many more herbs, herbal remedies, lotions and potions, than the 30-odd um, that we've been making per year previously off a misplaced uh, herbalist lodge. All right, we can do this. We got it. It's all under control. Okay, we have a lot of firewood. It looks like we missed the boat with the old cattle. There's 40 iron stored at the trading post now, 40 iron tools. Look at the value of these hide coats. Look at the value of these hide coats. They're worth 15 each. Why didn't we stockpile more of those there? Jeez, we've got 53 of these fucking things. I can't believe it. All right. We need more hide coats. They're worth a goddamn fortune. Holy shit. Let's get 40 of them in there. Holy crap. Monsera's hide and leather coats emporium. I never knew that they were worth so much. I knew that they were designer, but holy shit, they are worth a goddamn fortune. It's unbelievable. All right. We c we'll collect more stone out here, too. Uh, we've got, wow, big orders to collect these stones and uh, no actual 
uh, laborers currently, I don't think. Do we have any laborers? Well, we have one. Okay, that's not too bad. We can, we can, we can work with that. We can, we can definitely work with that. I think, I think we're gonna need another cemetery before long. Look at that. I can't believe that 24 fucking people have died in Sipsburg already. Jeez, it's only year 17 as well. That's pretty fucking nuts. Uh, oh my god, what is going on with this house? What, what's missing? Are we missing something? We're gonna build another wooden house here too. Uh, let's make it like this style. There we go. Seriously, this is just taking forever. It looks like there might be a tree in the way. <laughs> Look, it says remove a tree, but there's no tree. I, I don't... Is, is there anyone available to to remove one of a tree that might possibly be in the way of this the first stone house of Sipsburg? I don't think this is going to get built somehow. Unless somebody can figure out where this tree actually is. Can anyone see it? It's just like a little weed growing up against the wall of the cemetery or something that needs to be... God damn it. We might actually have to demolish this now. And just cancel it. Alright, we're gonna do it. Somebody else is gonna have to inherit the first stone. Let's make it uh, this one here. Let's make it this house right here. This is a good one. Ferret, Enelia, and Jaquel, the four-year-old child, are going to inherit a nice stone house. Uh, and for the time being, are gonna get kicked to the curb and be homeless. Uh, because we have no boarding house. Do you, th do you think maybe we should build a boarding house so that people have somewhere to go when they don't actually have a house? Like if we get nomads in and stuff like that? I think it might be worth doing. Uh, maybe we can build it over here in this new part of town. Have a boarding house like close to town hall, like a tavern and stuff like that. Leave this as like the old part of the city. I think that might work. Alright, we have two builders swooping in, hopefully. They're going to upgrade this wooden house to a stone house at long last uh, after this whatever happened here. I have no idea. Uh, we can probably do with actually uh, remaking a house here too. Another wooden house. Hopefully they'll move these stones out of the way. What's that? Fucking... I think this patch is just completely uh, bunk now. I don't think it can... Look, there's... It's saying that there's a tree to be moved. Or maybe it's this pile of stones that needs to be moved. I don't know. Uh, but it, it doesn't seem to be able to, to do it for some reason. And I don't know what's happening with these people. Okay, fine. Alright, bunkhouse then. We're gonna have a bunkhouse uh, down here, possibly. Uh, we want to have a boarding house. Not a bunkhouse, a boarding house. Okay. Provides a temporary place for the homeless to live. Currently have three homeless people living inside of Sipsburg. Look at this. We'll have it, like, just before the town square. We'll have it, like, right here? How, how does that look? Is that gonna look nice? I think it is. This is... well... Yeah, okay, let's do that. We're gonna put it right here. It's gonna cost us 100 logs and 45 stone, of which we have plenty, that's fine. There. We now have a boarding house, and they'll cut down some of these trees that are in the way as well. Perfect. Oh, uh, look at this. A homeless fisherman. It's Arnelia. She's been kicked out of her house while it gets upgraded into a stone house. And the odds are that she may not even get to move back into this house after it's been upgraded to a stone house, because some ripe young couple may, uh pip her at the post and steal her house and get in there and immediately start making the babbies like straight away because the people of Sipsburg are kind of perverted uh, a little bit disgusting and that's the sort of behavior that they get up to in their spare time which is a, is a goddamn shame I'll, I'll admit straight away that it is pretty much a shame all right there's 10 things to remove from this boarding house uh, lot we, ha we need 100 logs and 45 stone to turn up here at some point, and uh, there's 150 build points that need to be plowed into this with only two builders. All right, we now have three. We have no laborers left over, and uh, I don't think we need another trader. We now have four builders. Okay, fine. Are we fully stocked here? Yes. There's 200 firewood, 40 iron, 40 iron tools, and 40 hide coats. We are not going to miss the boat next time uh, some seeds or some livestock uh, turn up. That's for damn sure. We now have nine students. Still, we, we still have 13 babbies. Who moved in here? Oh, look. <laughs> it's Ferret, Enelia, and Jaquel. They couldn't wait for the stone house, so they decided to slum it in a wooden house that has just been newly built and was meant for a new family. Unfortunately, a new family did not move in. And we're going to have to build another wooden house here so that a new family can move in and make even more babbies. 4,929 food, which is great. 
That's perfect, actually. Uh, that's more than enough food for now, and uh, we'll keep building on the food. Thanks for watching part 17 of Banished. Stay tuned for part 18. We'll continue upgrading houses and building more stuff. Thanks, bye!